Hello friends, this is Miss Christine from the Moore Park City Library and we just wrapped up our story time where we talked about numbers and counting. And so I wanted to show you just the activity portion of our story time. One of the best way for kids to learn is through play. And so we always end story time with either a craft or an activity just to reinforce what we learned. So because today's uh, story time theme was counting and numbers, the activity I have for you is kite counting. Now, the Moore Park City Library was able to provide a limited number of craft supply kits. These kits contained all of the supplies that you need for our September story time crafts. If you were unable to get one of our kits, don't worry. Uh, the supplies we use are super simple. Maybe something you have at home. If not, they're definitely easy to find in local stores or online. So we're going to grab the kite counting out of that story time kit. It's in a Ziploc bag. It's labeled kite counting with today's date, September 9th, 2020. Inside you'll find 10 kites that have a hole punch at the bottom, 10 pieces of pipe cleaner, and then 55 pony beads. Now, my kit's looking a little light because I have taken some of the things out uh, in order to prepare to show you today's activity. Learning through play is the best way to learn. And so this activity is going to help your little one with number recognition, counting from 1 to 10, matching because we are going to match the number on the kite to the number of beads on the tail of the kite, and then also fine motor practice. So practicing taking something small like a bead and then threading it onto our pipe cleaner. So let me go ahead and tilt this camera down so that you can see what I'm doing. All right, so these are the kites that I have already put together. Uh, the first thing that you're going to want to do is take out your kites. You will need to grab a pen or pencil. We left the center of the kite blank because we wanted you to fill it in with either with the numbers 1 through 10. You can use a pen or a pencil. I'm going to use a pencil because I like the idea of being able to erase and then practice writing my numbers again. If you have a little one that's not quite ready to practice writing them, you can definitely fill that in with a permanent marker to make it a bit bolder and easier to see. So go ahead and label your kites one through 10. Like you saw, I already got started with my kit. Okay, the next thing you are gonna do is you are going to take a piece of pipe cleaner. I used 10 pipe cleaners that were cut in half, or I'm sorry, five pipe cleaners cut in half, which gave me 10 pieces of pipe cleaner. Okay, so I'm going to thread the pipe cleaner through the hole of my kites, fold it down, and then twist it back on itself to secure it. There we go. So now I have the tail to my kite. You're gonna do that for all 10 of your kites. And then you're ready to lay them out. You can lay them out in numerical order. You can mix them up. It's really up to you and the level of your, the skill and knowledge level of your little one. I would highly recommend putting your beads in a bowl. It makes it a lot easier to contain them and for your little ones to grab. So here I have kite number four. And so now I wanna thread four beads onto my number four kite. Let's do it together. So there's one, two, three, four. So the number four kite, and I have four beads on the tail. And like I said, you're gonna just continue this with all of your different kites. It's a great way to practice number recognition and counting from one to 10. If you wanted to make this a little more challenging, you could swap out the pipe cleaners we provided and change up the colors and get pony beads to match the colors of the pipe cleaner. So for an added challenge, 
they're not only putting the correct number of beads onto the kite, but they would have to match the color of the bead to the pipe cleaner. That's something added, not what we provided for, for the basic activity. We are just matching the number of beads to the number on the kite. I hope you enjoyed that. We still have supplies available here at the library, so please give us a call. We are open for curbside pickup Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., and our number is 805-517-6370. I look forward to seeing you guys next Wednesday at 10.30 a.m. for our story time where we will be talking about colors, and our activity is actually a color by number. So we're combining next week's uh, story time and what we learned this week together for our craft. So I hope you enjoyed this. I will see you guys soon. Bye-bye.